Hello friends, welcome to the video lecture series on importing data in a Python. So till now we have seen about how we can import a relational database SQLite system into Python environment and we use SQLite 3 and a pandas library. Now we are going to discuss about uh, another important NoSQL database like a MongoDB. It's one of the column oriented database and a document oriented database. So let's try to analyze and make analogy with our relational database knowledge. So if you see relational database knowledge with MongoDB a NoSQL database knowledge, there is a one database which is exactly corresponding to the database of MongoDB NoSQL. Whatever the tables are available in a relational database system, it is equivalent to the collections. So inside the database there are number of collections are available same way number of tables are available in a database in a RDBMS system. Each table has a rows and a record in case of RDBMS but in case of NoSQL individual rows and record is called as a document. One major difference between this row records and a document is this record in RDBMS system has contained a very fixed schema a fixed number of, of column, a fixed number of column which has the same exact data type across all record. But in case of MongoDB, NoSQL DB, this document contains a very high flexibility and it contains any number of record or any number of field, any number of column in one document, the other document may differ in terms of number of column, type of column and total number of columns. The same way the column is equivalent to the field. So that is the major difference between mo no SQL DB and a uh, SQL DB what we have seen. Now let's see about the installation. So in this case we are going to use a Python driver PyMongo and we can straight away install with the pip, pip install PyMongo. Now let's see about the actual installation of the MongoDB. So I have already installed I am just going to point out that how you can install this Mongo. DB. So if you see this MongoDB for all these three major operating system Windows, Linux and a Mac it has available every instruction. So MongoDB is available in a two different uh, addition one is a community addition one is the enterprise addition for our personal use uh, this is a very fine community addition and for all these three uh, it has given an instruction how to install on a Linux OS X and a uh, Windows I have already installed and there are number of tutorials are available on a YouTube you can straight away go and watch this now I have already installed this uh, Windows uh, on my Linux system this MongoDB so let's go and uh, run some of the query and let's connect it before that I have already created one database in my local system as this course is all about importing data I have already created uh, and inserted some data and those data we are going to uh, fetch it so I have created one test data set and inside this test data set I have created a two collection one is a person and one is a movie so let's start so just go to console and write just mongo and it will c connect a mongo client to the mongo server now let's run how many dbs are there so just type so dbs so we have total four dbs are available one is a local db one is a my first mb which i have created for the testing purpose one is a test and test database we are going to use this test so we need to put it into user usable form so we'll just type use this and it has switched the db from uh, test so whatever operation now onwards we are going to apply that will be applied on a test database now we want to see how many collections are there equivalent to how many tables are there in a relational database system so collections if you see there is a two collection what I have seen so new earlier one is a movie and one is a person now let's say we want to find what are the records or equivalent to what are the uh, documents are there in a 
movie collection and a person collection we can do like a db dot movie db it will all already considered at a test and we'll just apply find okay so we have a total three collection uh, three documents one is the name titanic movie one is iron man one is a terminator and this is the id associated which is auto generated while inserting this document into mongodb server let's see about the person collection okay so we have total two records or a two uh, document an individual has a person name age and its address address again contain uh, another level of hierarchy which contains a number street and a city so uh, this way we can fetch all those uh, data from the uh, mongodb so that's it about this lecture friends i hope you enjoy listening with this video and next lecture we are going to see how we can fetch those data with the help of pymongo driver in a python environment